Nathan here at The Savvy Nonprofit. I started this channel to share from a decade of leadership experiences in fundraising, volunteering, and nonprofit organizations. Through this channel, you'll be able to learn from our experiences, get helpful tips, and ultimately, spend more time on your mission. In today's video, I'm gonna cover a quick and easy setup of a donation page using DonorBox. If you think DonorBox is a good for a solution for you, please consider using the link in the description below to sign up and help support this channel. Also, please give us a like for the video and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. So you get to the DonorBox website and you wanna click Work Sign Up if you haven't already created an account. There's no cost to do so. For this video, I already have an account, so I'm just gonna use that one. Once you've created your account or log in, you'll be taken to this page. We're gonna to navigate to Campaigns in the menu bar. The campaign page is gonna show you any existing campaigns that you already have. If you're a new account, you won't have anything here. Before we go farther, if you haven't already connected your Stripe or PayPal account, you wanna do that. I won't cover that in this video, just gonna assume it's already connected, but you can do that by going to the account page and logging into your Stripe or PayPal account there. To create the campaign, we'll click on the new campaign button. Clicking on create campaign will take you to the campaign creator page. Here we're gonna enter the title of our fundraiser into the title box. You can also select a language, but I would suggest just leaving it as a to detect. Now you're ready to make your fundraiser. The page presents us with two choices, a simple donation form or a fundraising page with crowdfunding. For this example, we're gonna pick the page. You'll see as we go along that the form is actually part of the page. Okay, now we're at the editing step. Each part of this page is conveniently labeled on the right and corresponds to settings and boxes on the left. You have the option to upload a logo and a background image, which we'll skip for this demo. In box five, we can enter a description for our fundraiser. I already have one typed up, so I'm just gonna paste that into the box. In box six, we'll enter a campaign goal. This is a great feature for crowdfunding campaigns, but I wouldn't always enable it. For example, if you're using DonorBox to collect payments for capital campaign pledges, it might not make sense because many donors probably pledge larger amounts but are giving those gifts over a long period of time. DonorBox is only able to count gifts towards the goal as they're paid so larger pledges wouldn't show up in the goal as amounts raised. We'll enable the donor wall to allow people to see comments, and we'll leave social media enabled and also enable crowdfunding. And we'll allow people to subscribe with email updates. Here you can see where you can enter your handles, your social media handles, you can go and drop those in, and click create, and that's it. Now you can see on this page showing us that we have successfully created our campaign. We can now preview the campaign page we've created or we continue editing it I'll just preview it so you can see what we've done. We've got some work to do. As you can see, the text and the details doesn't seem to be formatted. Sometimes when you paste stuff over, you need to clear the formatting from the program you copied it from. You can see in the default donation form, the basic custom amounts. You can write a comment, do a few other things. We'll make that a little more full featured here. So we'll jump into the edit menu, and the first thing I'm gonna do is correct that formatting so that text shows up correctly in the details. I'm also going to add a few additional donation options. And we're gonna leave the rest of this stuff enabled, but we will add a thank you message so people can get that when they donate. So let's drop this in here, I've already wrote it out. We'll click save and next. Now we're okay, now we're seeing the receipt that people will get via email once they donate, because they'll be asked to put their email address in. So we're gonna edit the subject line. It will pre-populate the email if you've already updated your DonorBox account with the logo for your organization, and it will include the name of your organization and email, so you won't need to change any of that. Of course, you can customize it as you see fit. Below, we can ask donors to subscribe to our mailing list, and we can also ask people to agree to GDPR. It's something that you need. You can go ahead and read up on that. There's plenty of information from DonorBox on what it is. It is important for people who have customers or donors in Europe or who are based out of Europe. So we'll go ahead and click Save and Next. Now we can check this box to collect address. We'll make it optional. We can also check the phone and make that optional. We can add a short call to action message to show up in the donation form itself. So we'll drop one in there, I've already typed up. For additional form fields, you can see there's a few options here. We're going to select ask donors to cover the processing fees so we can compare the difference between credit cards and ACH fees. There's also a few other options here, but we'll leave those disabled for now. And here at the bottom, you can add a legal and compliance disclaimer. DonorBox has a few examples. I'm just gonna add one that I've modified for this organization and we'll click save and next. First toggle allows you to make gifts in honor or memory of someone and then send an email or note to a person you specify let them know that the gift was made in honor of them or someone they know. The second toggle allows donors to designate where their gift goes. So we will add a few choices here. Just 
at soccer and baseball. The third toggle allows you to add any other question that you want to ask. You can choose between different question types. For this example, we'll just do a drop down menu and we'll ask for folks t-shirt size. If you use Google Ads or any other analytics stuff, you can drop that in here. We'll leave it blank for now and we'll move on to social media. We won't change anything here. We're pretty much done at this point, so we'll just click update and preview. Okay, so here's our donation page. You can see how the text has been formatted correctly now. If I click on the donate button, we can see the donation form. The call to action that we entered is at the top of the donation form, and then I can select an amount to give. I'm gonna select $25. I could also add a specific amount in the custom amount field. Here you can see the gift designation. People can choose area of greatest need, or they can select soccer or baseball. They can also enter their t-shirt size if we were going to give them a t-shirt with their gift. Below they can write a comment and have their donation displayed on the donation wall if they want. I'll select high donation amount for the donation wall and click next. Now I'll enter my name, my last name, and an email. Remember we made phone number and address optional so we don't have to enter those right now but you could require them if you wanted. We'll also check subscribe to the mailing list and click next. Now we're on the payment page. We can either enter a credit card or enter my bank information. You'll notice at the bottom of the form, the donor has the option to cover the processing expense. If we click over to bank transfer, we'll see that the processing expense is actually quite a bit less. We'll talk about that in a different video. You can really save a lot by using bank transfers. If you want to pair the bank transfer, you click continue. It'll take you to apply the service and you'll sign into your bank account. We're not going to do that right now, so we'll go back to the donation page. Okay, so on the donation page, you can have this manage, <coughs> manage updates. allows us to send updates to people who have subscribed to our updates. We can also see the donor wall. If I were to give and leave a comment, it would appear here. It could also show my donation amount. And then we can see the details of our fundraiser. The social media buttons are there and others are able to enter their email to subscribe for updates. So that wraps up an intro into how to create a donation page with DonorBox. If you think DonorBox is a good solution for you or your organization, please use the link in the video description below to sign up. When you use that link, it helps support this channel. Also be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel below. And I have another video out there about the advantages of DonorBox, its costs and how to reduce those costs. So if that interests you, be sure to check that out too. Thanks everyone. Talk to you again soon. Thank you.